Get teach other here. Get teach other via. Teach is. Get teach is. My name's Jack. I'm a campaigner at Greenpeace Australia Pacific. So, Jack, if you had a magic crystal ball and you could look into the future, what would, what do our oceans look like? Um, maybe not as blue as you may uh, be used to. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, if uh, they continue to warm uh, in their temperature, you might find them getting quite uh, acidic. Uh, essentially, if uh, small little things like plankton aren't eating the algae, uh, that algae can bloom. And when algae blooms, it can make the water quite toxic, which makes it difficult for fish, uh, for whales, for even birds uh, who feed off uh, all this stuff to exist. Mm -hmm. uh, and that means that the place that once gave us all this life and all this joy could very quickly become a place that we're not even able to go or enjoy anymore. Oh, well this pretty shit. Well, what are we talking here? Are we talking like a million years? We're talking about 11 years. Well, at least there's still something I don't have to worry about immediately, I guess. So that's, do you remember when you first started this series? Yes. When the whale washed up on... Oh yeah, okay, oh. Well, no, so that, and then doing that again, um, that's it. And then, um, and then we've got nothing we can, we can do after that point. Oh, well, do we really need to stress about all this? I, I just watched a documentary the other day called Jurassic Park, and cloning technology has actually come in leaps and bounds uh, in the last few years, and I think, you know, there's opportunity there. So first of all, um, uh, you may have to investigate the documentary section by which you're getting uh, your films from, because that certainly isn't one. Uh, and unfortunately, we don't have the ability to clone things like the ocean. Uh, it covers most of the planet, uh, and we, if we lose it, then we don't have the ability to make anything more. Look, Jet, to be honest, this has been a very negative conversation, and you're coming off as a very negative fella. So I was just wondering, maybe we can flip that a bit and you can try and talk positively. Pip, pip, so you can say, it, help us understand if there's anything positive that we can do to make the world, the future, the ocean a better place. Of course. So there's, there's a couple things um, we can do. The, the biggest contributor to this, um, as I've said, is, is climate change, and that is fueled by the burning of fossil fuels. So we need to make sure that in our daily lives that we aren't relying on companies and organisations that rely on that energy. Uh, mm. We need to transition to renewable energy um, to power a future that's clean and safe for everyone. Um, as well as that, we need to um, lobby our government and make sure that the people who are being elected into parliament are those who will put your future first. Uh, we'll make sure that our oceans aren't toxic wastelands for years to come. Uh, we need to make sure the people leading the country will also do that. Oh, okay, so no hope then. Well, no, it's, it's actually, it doesn't have to be. Um, one of the things that we're working on at the moment is trying to ensure that by 2030, 30% 30 uh, of our oceans are sanctuaries. They're places where uh, marine life and birds like yourself um, are free from the threats of plastics, uh, free from the threats of fishing, and just a place where marine life can be preserved to ensure that we have that going forward into the future. Get teach over here. Get teach over there. Click on the link.